Hi, this is Rachel from Pure Photoshop Actions. <clears throat> I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to install uh, Actions in Elements because we get a lot of questions um, on how to do this because it's just not like a really um, user-friendly, sorry my daughter's talking a little over here, um, it's not a very user-friendly um, pass and so um, I just wanted to quickly show how to go about doing it. Um, it's really easy once you kind of see the steps you'll be able to replicate them quickly so first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go to your start menu you'll come down here and this will be mostly the same for um, for uh, you know for each version um, there might be a few things as you get uh, farther away from um, from you know the newer versions as you get the older versions you might run into a few differences uh, but if you google you can generally find what you need to uh, do for an older version. This is using Windows 7 and Elements 9, but it should get you in the general ballpark. So uh, first you'll bring up your start menu like I did here. You'll come down, you'll type in folder options. See, I didn't have to type the whole thing and it was like, oh, you want folder options. Okay, um, so then you'll go to view. So you have general view and search. We're going to go to view and see this here hidden files and folders you'll need to have it clicked over to this the default is it to, to not show them so you're going to want to click it over to show hidden files folders and drives um, anyway so just you'll click that radio button I already have it clicked so I'm not going to bother with it but you'll click that radio button and you'll say apply and OK so once you have that clicked it's really going to be pretty smooth sailing um, you're going to go to your computer you'll say you will want your C drive and then you're gonna say okay now you'll be able to see program data usually see how it's kind of uh, you know sort of what's the word a little translucent um, that's because it used to be a hidden folder but now you'll find it see it's different than program files we're going to program data program data we bring up Adobe now we're going to go from Adobe to uh, let's see where's it Photoshop elements we're going to go to the number that you're using. I'm using 9. 9, you're going to go to Photo Creations. Click on that. You're going to go to Photo Effects. Open it up. And look, here are all of the actions. Some of these just come with it. And I've already added all of these. You have Hazy Wonder and Mixer for Elements, all of these things. So what I've done is I've uh, you'll open up another... Uh, one of these and then you'll just go to where you're storing your actions and uh, let me open up my actions folder like I have one that's open here's my oops. okay it's not loving me right now it doesn't want to open so I'll drag you through here oh I know why it's not opening it's because it's on my external and sometimes that goes to sleep <laughs> so I need to wake it up I've been away from the computer for a bit uh, okay so now that it's awake, maybe I can just bring this folder up. Oh, here it is, right down here. See, here's my black and whites. I already have these installed, but I'll just show you. Like, you're just going to say, okay, I want to bring over something like my black and white customizer or Moody Baby. Uh, and I'll just drag it and drop it. See, it says copy to photo effects. I'll let it go. This one already is in there, so I'm just going to say, oh, cancel, never mind. But, uh, you'll just be able to open up those elements actions that you have uh, and most of them will come with a little thumbnail make sure you grab that too and drop them into this program data Adobe Photoshop elements 9 photo creations photo effects drop it into this folder and you will be ready to go uh, with your uh, different with your different actions you'll be set at you'll be able to run them. Uh, make sure that when you're doing this that your elements program is closed. Once you've put all of these into this folder you'll be able to restart elements. That'll rebuild your database. Sometimes you have to click around a minute. So let's just open up. Here we go. I have my elements 9. I bought it just for you guys just so we can test actions and do some tutorials. Um, anyway, uh, so you click edit. It'll take a second. We'll bring up the edit folder the edit uh, thing here um, okay and see here's my actions I since I was testing I didn't make a bunch of um, PNGs I really need to go through and make some PNGs grab the ones that we made for the thing and
pop them in here. But uh, see what I've done is we've got to here. Now they're in my photo effects. Do you see? So I'm in the main editing window. I've come over here. It's the third one over. Photo effects. You'll click it, and I have show all. You could probably make yourself a little uh, folder, but I just have it in show all. And this one, like right here, is hazy wonder element. So you know. Anyway, that's how you get your actions into your palette so that you're able to use them in Photoshop Elements. I hope this has been helpful. This is Rachel from Pure Photoshop Actions. Thank you. Bye-bye.